Does everybody have uh, a stick for the snatch technique work we're gonna do? Or broomstick, something? Towel, if need be. Good, good, yeah. We're working on a little more snatch technique stuff today. All right, everybody ready to start? So come on over to where I can see. I'm just going to talk about what we're going to do today before we uh, before we get going. So uh, to start things off, we're going to be doing the uh, my karate warm up. So it's going to be three rounds of uh, ten front kicks per side, and I'll quickly demo that and go over that before we start it. And then you're going to do a left right punch combo just to warm up some shoulders, and then it's going to be 10 side kicks, but it'll be five per side of those. And I'll demo and talk about that uh, as we do it as well. After that, we're gonna grab onto our broomstick, dowel, or whatever kind of uh, rod-like device you have. And we're going to go through the Burgener warm-up, which is a series of snatch technique drills that you can do with just a stick. I've been running this one pretty consistently through the virtual wads, just to keep people's uh, ollie skills somewhat uh, in practice during this time. And hopefully some muscle memory will be kicked in by the time we get back into the gym, which hopefully shouldn't be too long based on yesterday. The last part we're gonna do is just sweaty grind. It's going to be a three minute AMRAP with a one minute rest. It's gonna start with five burpees, and then you're going to do 10 lateral hops over an object. So when I had this workout envisioned in my mind, the object was quite small, right? Like this, the height of a dumbbell. Uh, would be uh, very appropriate for this. Something you can easily jump over from side to side. So you're just gonna be jumping from side to side over top of something. If you don't have anything handy, you can just even use uh, a spot on the floor, anything like that is fine. My only concern of someone's using the broomstick is that if you landed on it, you might roll your ankle. So uh, be careful in that regard. Last one is going to be shoulder taps from the plank position. So you'll come down. I know thought the shoulders might be a little tired today, but they should be get some good recovery from this. And you're just gonna tap one, two, three, four, when uh, totaling up to 20. And you'll complete that for three minutes. You'll pick up right where you left off on each round and we'll do five rounds total, okay? So let's start things off with the karate warm up. The front kick movement that I'm gonna have you do, when you start this movement, your feet should be staggered. So you have one foot in front of the other. And then from this position, you raise the knee up and kick out, and then it comes back. So just practice a couple, up and back. Good. And when you switch legs, you'll have the other leg in front, kick, knee up and kick out, okay? So we're gonna do 10 on each side to start things off, we'll do it fairly slow for the first round, just to see how we're feeling. Ready? Starting with the right leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And switching legs, so the left leg is in the back. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. So the next movement is going to be the left right combo of punches. And when I watch people do this, one of the problems I have with it is I just see people going like this. But I actually want you to turn with this. So you should have your left leg slightly forward, your right leg slightly back, and your hands up. And when you punch with the left, I want to turn the hip. And then when you come back with the right, you turn the hip the other way. So watch my hips when I do it this time. The left, and then the right. My foot turns so that my hips become square. And we're going to count off 10 left, right punches. Ready, left, right. So you're pivoting on your feet, left, right. The left foot pivots, and then the right foot pivots 
to throw those punches. Ready? One, two, turn the heel of the punch, just the hand that's throwing. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now the next one is going to be the side kick. The knee comes up in the same way that the knee came up with the front kick. Except for this time, the foot's gonna to go to the side and your torso is gonna to go to the other side. So it is up and out. Other side, up and out. Woo, try to keep your balance. <laughs> side kicks, ready? One, alternating each time. Two, yeah, lean back. Three, four, five, bring that knee up, then pivot out. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we're going back to the top. And I'm gonna count it out, but I'm gonna count it out a little bit faster this time. So it is right leg back, left leg forward. 10 front kicks with the right leg. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Switch legs. Ready? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, left leg forward, right leg back. And remember, you're turning your hip with each punch. Left, right combo, ready? One, two, three. Looks good, Alina. Four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Side kicks, ready? Feet fairly centered, fairly almost beside each other, and one leg, one knee comes straight up and then shoots out to the side. Ready? Right leg first, one, two, three. Turn your hip into it, four, Five, six, seven. Your heel should end up behind you. Eight, nine, ten. Good. All right. Starting at the top again. I'm going to do it with you this time. Try and keep the pace. Left leg forward, right leg back. Ready? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch legs. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Knee high. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready to punch? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Side kicks. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Catch your breath. Grab a drink or whatever you might need. And your stick.
Good. All right. How are the kicks? Feeling better each time? Alina, you've done some boxing somewhere else? Sort of. I just, I really enjoy punching. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, last year, um, early part of the year, every Friday I used to do like a boxing class and it was very um, therapeutic. Yeah, <laughs> I bet, I bet. I can tell by the footwork. <laughs> she, knows, she knows how to turn her hip. Good. So the next piece that we're going to go through, and I've gone through this one with you a few times, so I won't have as in-depth an explanation today as I normally do, but it is going to be the Burgeoner warm-up. It's a great series of movements to help refine and practice different movement patterns in the movement of the snatch. When you're thinking about hand grip on the snatch and initial stance, feet should be underneath your hips, toes just slightly turned out. The barbell should be across your hip bones. You should be touching each hip bone on either side and your hand should be extended with no bend in the elbow. From this position, the first movement that we're going to do is just going to be down and up. What I'm thinking about in this position is dropping my hips straight down, bending my knees almost bow-legged a little bit, which allows me to stay in my heels, and then coming up, shrugging my shoulders and squeezing my glutes. Now from the side, it definitely does not look like this. I want it straight up and down, because I'm trying to create upward momentum on that barbell to have the weight go straight up because that's where I want it. I don't want it going away from the body. We're gonna do 10 of those on my count. At the top of each movement, you should be on the balls of your feet with your butt clenched and your shoulders trying to come up to your ears. Ready, one. You will dip down and dip up. The bar stays in the hip crease the whole time, Keith. Two. So the bar does not slide down the legs, yes. Back stays nice and straight like you were trying to slide it up and down a wall. Three. Good. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good. The second movement that we're going to do is going to be elbows high and outside. So after I dip down and drive up out of the heels and shrug my shoulders to create upper momentum, I'm gonna lift the elbows so that the bar comes to mid chest. I wanna keep it nice and close to the body as close as I possibly can. This is called elbows high and outside. Your elbow should be above the bar at all times. Ready? One. Two. Three, four. So I need a, you don't have to stay up there, you come right back down, okay? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Building on what we've already been drilling here. I'm going to add in the overhead position to this series of movements. So now I'm going to dip down, weights in my heels, drive up, shrug, elbows high, and I'm actually going to turn the barbell at the top of the movement. You don't have to dip underneath it. I did that just so you can see. Okay, and it is called the muscle snatch. So now you'll be bringing that barbell up overhead and it'll be directly above the top of the back of your head. Not too far back, not too far forward. Same spot every time, elbows locked out. Ready? One. Reset. Always, you can come down and reset whenever you're ready. Two. Three. Don't forget the little dip at the beginning. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Those 
those three movements and the first three movements of this series of drills are focusing on everything from the waist up. It's focusing on the shoulder position, the elbow position, the overhead position. Now we're gonna switch and we're gonna start focusing on perfect positioning from the waist down. So the next one that we're gonna do is called the snatch balance. The bar will rest on my shoulders. And from this position, I'm actually going to drop into a squat. So from here, I drop into that squat position with the barbell overhead. My feet move approximately one foot width over. And I drop down into my squat position. Okay, half squat to start off with, unless you're comfortable going full squat, but we'll start with a half squat. Ready, one. Good, pause for a sec. I don't want you to stand up fast. Before you stand up on each one, I want you to feel where your weight is. Feel where your feet are. Feel that your shoulders are locked out and engaged, okay? If you bounce out of this position, it'll be a bad habit that you won't be able to do when you're doing snatches. Ready, two. Hold it for a second, slowly stand up. Good, driving on your feet, three. Good, I want, when you're down there, I want you thinking about perfect positioning, thinking about where your weight is down there. Four. Stand, reset. Five. Stand, reset. Take your time down there. Uh, I want you all to stand when I say stand, otherwise you hold it. What are we on, five? Hold it. Stay down there. Stand, reset. Ready, six, hold it, check in with that bar. Bring that bar down to the top of the back of your head. Make sure it's in the perfect position. Press it back out, stand, reset. If you can go into a full squat, do so please. Ready, seven. Stand, reset. Ready, eight. Chest up, stand, reset. Ready, nine, stand, reset. So on this next one, when you stand, don't move your feet. Keep them in that squat width, because I want to test and see if you're landing in the right position. Ready, 10. Now stand without moving your feet, keep your feet in the same spot, and give me five overhead squats from that position, please. If you had to adjust your feet, then you may need to adjust your feet when you're jumping out from the snatch balance. Good. Now we're gonna try put everything together. Hang power snatch. We're gonna start just like we started with the very first movement. We're going to dip down, come up, and then catch in that position. Stand and reset, okay? Everybody ready? One. Full movement now, yeah? Ready, two. Stand, reset. Keith, the bar might need to be a little bit further back. It looks like it was a little bit forward there, bud. Ready, three. Reset, so I needed the bar comes up as you go down, okay? Ready, four. Stand, reset. Ready, five. Good, Anita. Stand, reset. Ready, six. Jen, you okay? <laughs> Ready, seven. Try squat a little lower if you can here. A little lower in that squat to push it a little bit. Let's see where you're at. Ready, eight. Reset. Two more. Ready, nine. Good, stand, reset. Last one, ready, 10. 
Good. Nice job, folks. I'm excited to get you back into the gym, and I can see uh, if some of this is paying off for you guys. I think that theoretically you might have a, a better understanding of the movement patterns of the snatch, hopefully. Please put your stick off to the side, and I want you to bring over the device that you plan on doing lateral jumps over and show it to me on the camera. You got like a block, yeah, that's perfect, Mario. Dumbbells, great, yeah. Roller is good, yeah. Just make sure the roller is not gonna actually roll side to side, Chris. You might wanna brace it with something just to make sure it doesn't roll underneath your ankles. We got dumbbells. What else we got? What do you got down there, Natalie? What is that? Is that like a shoe? Or is it like a like one of those handheld weight I got from the cereal box. Okay, perfect. That'll be great. Good, we got little dumbbells, yeah. As long as they're gonna stay in place. Anita, what do you got? Card, perfect. Yeah, it's perfect. Okay, we're good. So, the formula for this workout, the pattern is going to be five burpees and 10 hops over the object. So it is one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, each time you jump counts as one. And then 20 shoulder taps from a, from a, from a plank position. Does anybody have any questions about it? It's going to be five rounds, three minute AMRAP, one minute rest. If you want to have some music playing, you're more than welcome to. Give me a thumbs up if you're ready to go. Okay. Awesome. It says my speaker is not working. Please check your connection. Oh, maybe I can't hear you, but as long as you can hear me, that's okay. All right. I will call out the times for this one as well. Does anybody have any questions? All right. Get it going here in a few seconds. Let me get ready. Three minutes on, one minute rest, five rounds. Starting in 10 seconds. Three, two, one, here we go. Five burpees, 10 lateral hops, 20 shoulder taps. There and back is one, right? Yes. No, no. Every time you jump is one, Ryan. Every time you jump is one. Two, three, four, five. Okay. That's one minute into the first round. Halfway there. Halfway through the first round. One minute. One minute left of the first round.
Keep your core engaged on the shoulder taps. Try not to let your butt get too high on them. Fifteen seconds. Try finish the movement you're on at least. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. One minute rest. You will pick up exactly where you left off. The score for this workout is total number of rounds and reps. Going again in 10 seconds. Three, two, one, round two, round two, here we go. Try to find a nice consistent pace. Two minutes. Halfway there. One minute. Last minute of this round. Thirty seconds. Fifteen seconds. Three, two, one. One minute rest. Nice job, folks. Two down, three to go. How are we feeling? Good. This one's supposed to be a sweaty one.
Keep the heart rate going. 30 seconds. All right, 10 seconds, get ready. Pick up right where you left off. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Let's go. Round three. Two minutes. Just try and keep moving. Just think about the next movement, the next piece. Make sure you're breathing. Halfway there. Especially on those planks, make sure you're breathing. One minute. Last minute of this round. Hey. Thirty seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Over the hump now. Six minutes left. You got six minutes. Thirty seconds. Keep breathing. Bring your heart rate down. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go. Let's go. Round four. Some people are going to come back from the quarantine not happy with what they did with their fitness. But not you guys. You guys will be very happy. Gives you a chance. Work on things. 
a good feeling on the rest of your day. It's slow times to know that you put your, put your training in. Two minutes left in this round. Just try and keep moving, break it up into manageable chunks. Watch your breathing. You can get through any workout if you just breathe. You just focus on your breathing and keep moving. You can get through any workout. Halfway there. Halfway through this round. Think about your positioning. Make sure your positioning is still good. Shoulders in the right spot. Core is engaged on all the movements. Last minute of this round. Thirty seconds left. Yeah, squeeze everything on those shoulder taps. Five seconds, one more rep. Five seconds. Three, two, one, rest. All right, one more, one more round. Three minutes of work. Catch your breath. Last round, you're doing great. Fifteen seconds. Get ready. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Let's go. Last round. Show me a nice plank position on those shoulder taps. Keep the hips down. Keep moving. Just keep breathing. It's okay to slow your pace as long as you try and keep moving. Two minutes left, you got two minutes left. You can do two minutes.
Halfway there. Halfway. 90 seconds left. 90 seconds. Take a breath, get a couple more movements in. Last minute. One minute. Thirty seconds, last thirty seconds. Fifteen seconds, ten seconds. Finish moving. Three, two, one time. Nice work, folks. Catch your breath. Hot? Yeah. It's definitely a, definitely a sweaty one. Feel free to unmute yourself. Let me know how you're feeling. That was horrible. Very damp. <laughs> it's a warm day. Yeah, it's a warm day. That'll heat up. That'll that'll heat up the house right quick. Horrible work. What was the What was the worst part? Burpees. Uh, burpees. The burpees, yeah. Shoulder taps were awful. The shoulder taps, yeah, they start to add up after a while. Counting, counting's always the worst part. Did you say the counting? Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, just do just do the movement, and then I'm like, oh, oh no, is that? That's six burpees. Oh shit. Okay, next. Yeah, yeah. Uh, trying to, trying to remember. a couple of rounds of twenty jumps. Twenty jumps. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> awesome. Good. So uh, I would like you to try and do a, a calf stretch today. Uh, the the one that I after all those jumps, the one that I want you to do, you're going to line yourself up against a wall or a door frame. And try. I don't know if you can really see it. Put your foot against the ball of your foot against the door frame if you know that calf stretch where you're kind of resting the ball of your foot against it and then just pulling yourself forward you don't have to be on camera to do it you can just find a spot where you can stretch out your calves here a little bit it's a lot of jumps there today and do about a minute on each side Thanks, Aaron. I need a dash. I got a meeting at one. Hey, no problem. Thank you very much. Yeah. See you, Alan. Great job today. Good. Once you've done a little bit of that, just come on back to the camera. We're just gonna do a standing hamstring stretch to end things off. So you're pretty much just, just from a standing position, you're just gonna lean forward. You just reach your toe, reach your fingers, dangle your fingers towards your toes until you feel your hamstrings. Feel your hamstrings stretch. Just basically leaning forward, stretch the low back, stretch the hamstrings there. And just hold it until you feel comfortable. <sighs> Thanks, Aaron. I gotta run too. Okay. Thank you. Great job today. Thanks. Good. And when you need to stand, you can stand on that one. Awesome. Good. Any feedback about today or any questions that uh, you might have for me, feel free to unmute yourself and let me know. Otherwise, we're gonna wrap it up. I think that's a tough workout that we probably need to do again. 
That's a tough one. Yeah, that's that one was designed just to get some sweat going. I didn't have uh, yesterday was very strength based, so I wanted to come back with uh, something that had a lot of heavy heavy breathing in it. So you accomplished it. did well. And <laughs> can't move anymore. Yeah, perfect. All right, folks, come on over to the camera here. I'm gonna uh, we're gonna get a clap and wrap it up. So bring your hands together. Uh, Try to do all one, three, two, one. Good, that was really good. Awesome.